How's it going everyone? Welcome to part four. So we're still on this side at the moment, but we're getting very close to getting this side completed. We start moving around the car and doing a bit more. So let's spin around and have a look where we are. And we can go from there. So I've actually robbed some of this back and refilled since last time. So, let's start getting done.
going to change over sanders. We're going to go to this one. We're going to this sander with a bit of 240 on the bottom. See if we can get some of these flat. So I think you get the idea of what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blast over quite a bit of this side. I've gone down to a, a 180 just for a couple of these bits because they're a bit thicker still. So I need to wear them down a bit. And I'll let you know where we are in probably, well, in the next section, obviously for you, but that'll probably be a couple of hours for me. So let's get on with it. Well, it's been a good hour now. Look at the floor. Pure white, <laughs> loads and loads of dust. So you can imagine how much I've been sanding. And this is what we got now, starting to get all them nasty big dents filled up now. They're starting to look pretty good. You see a bigger well though, can't you? <laughs> Still a little bit of work to do on them, but they're not too far off at all now. The front there's looking good. Sanded back up the top here. Just got to give them a final skim. There's some indentation -y bits. As you can see. So this side's starting to come round now. There's still a few little bits on the on that back corner to do. But I don't need a massive skim or anything anymore. It's just little touch-up bits. And I did find another little dent. <laughs> which is... You should be able to see it, it's just there. Uh, nothing crazy, but I'll just have to grind it down flat there and just give it a little skim. But need to be doing it while we're doing it. And then we've still got this little bit of rust on the end of the arch here. Which we've got to undo the bumper and just take it away so we don't grind onto the bumper. And then we'll start to get towards the end of this side. As far as I can see, looking at all the reflections and stuff, I can't see any more dents or anything. 
I did find a mark on the front wing, which is this here. It's quite a nasty deep scratch right into the bare metal, so we've got to deal with that as well. So we need to sort that out. Otherwise, <laughs> hopefully, we're getting towards the end of this side. It's been a long old road because it's, well, as you can see, it's pretty bad, but there's no way of sort of jumping the steps. You just got to do what you got to do and just keep doing them until they're right. Tapping them around, filling them with different sorts of fillers until everything's nice and smooth. Obviously, we hammer out and pull out as much metal as we can first before we start skimming. And that brings us to the stage we are now. So we're on part four. And at the moment we're still on this side, but I'm hoping to start going around the front there soon and start going around the back there. I'm not quite sure what we've got on the front bumper to do. I know there's some stone chips down the bottom. We've got things like that to deal with. And sort of the whole front bumper is really covered in stone chips, so we're gonna have to flatten that all off. All along the front the same. And then there's a load more over this side. So yeah, pretty much the front bumper needs a needs a repaint. We've got this repair here to do as well anyway. So I think we'll be doing the whole front bumper. We've definitely got to do the whole bonnet because of the sticker situation. We did manage to get it off this side. It's still here, so we're gonna sand this whole area, get rid of this dent and this dent. And we'll be doing the whole bonnet as well. Hopefully though. I'm pretty sure most of this side is pretty good. There's a couple of little tiny weeny car park dents, but I'm gonna leave this side. It's not really worth the extra work, but there is one bit up the top here, which is a bit nasty. Oh no, to the light, there's two. So there's another one here as well. Whoever was putting the roof rack on this or whatever they were doing, weren't doing a very good job. They were like ratcheting it down and pulling it down into the bodywork. <laughs> Which is not good, so we, that's why we're dealing with these. And then these trims, I'll flatten these off and then we'll probably do them in a, in a matte black when we're all finished. So there is a couple of tiny weeny little marks on there. See if I can find one. They're so small, they're hardly noticeable. There's a tiny weeny one there, but not worth worrying about. And then there is a couple of tiny marks like that there but I think that's sort of pretty much where we'll be with that side We've got to do that bit on the back bumper there there's some rust on the bottom of the lip of the back bumper so we'll be doing the bottom half of the bumper and we've also got to do the top half of the spoiler sort this out here and these dents along here oh and there is <laughs> Keep finding more little bits and we've got to do these little bits in here as well haven't we so we've still got a fair bit of work to do but hopefully it won't take too many days and we'll start seeing some results and we'll start getting into primer and should all be sort of prepped up ready for some nice fresh paint so mr postman's just been and he's brought me this box I do. <laughs> New relay for the foos box to get the big old compressor going. So obviously I'm going to take a little break now and put this in and see if we can get the big compressor going because we've been running on the little one, which I'll show you. We've been running on this little thing lately and obviously that's not up to the job compared to my massive one I've got. So let's see if we can get the other one sorted out. Right, so we're Got all the cover and everything off, which is down here. We worked out what's what, where the compressor goes and stuff like that. And that second one down on the left hand side there is the new breaker. 63 amp. It's a bit of a beast, but it's got to run a beast of a compressor. So fingers crossed it's all going to work. And we'll be away with the big compressor. So this is the big compressor. I've got all the sides and stuff off it at the moment. They're sitting down there and they're one sitting around the back there. 
everything's all turned off. Reset switches and stuff are all off. We've just been around the back and made sure she's free on the motor. She's still turning, which is good. It's not seized up or anything. It was a bit tight when I first tried to do it. A few taps and a bit of this and that, and that seemed to have freed everything up. So let's give it a first test, shall we? First thing we have to do is shut that up and turn the isolation switch. Then got another emergency button up the top here. Which you turn to the side like so. As you can probably hear, she started up and she's running pretty good by the sound of things. So I'll put it all back together in a sec. I'm just going to get in the side and make sure we've got some pressure in the tank. And we'll go from there. So if I turn this tap down here, it should let out a load of pressure and it should be pretty loud because it's a big old tank and it's full of a lot of pressure. So let's see what happens. of air in there so we've just got to run our pipe from the old one down there now up onto there and put some connections on and this big old beast will be up and running so i'll be back in a bit i'm just going to put all the surrounding cages around the sides of it back on so it don't suck in too much dust and stuff while it's running and it fills it out and we're back on the big compressor lovely then we'll get back onto this Astra and we should be able to do things even quicker than what we've been doing them. So that's pretty good. So let's go So got all the covers and everything all built back up on the compressor looking good As you can see Pressure's over halfway Temperature's good sitting around 50 All the wiring's all back in Safety switches on Power cables and stuff are in with the safety earths. Back panels are back on. Awesome. And then back over here, what I had to do was I had to run the wiring up all the way along the top of the unit there. Along all the girders, up along there. All the way along there, as you can see. All the way back around into the top of there. And this is all put back together now, all nice and safe. We we'll shut the door on that. And that's the end of that. You don't want to be getting shocks off that 400 volts. <laughs> Not good. So, yeah, that's that sorted. Lovely jubbly. All we've got to do now is run this hose off this one down onto that one, which I'll do now off camera. Take the connections off the end and stuff like that. Get plumbed up so we like this so we can put our tools and stuff on it. And away we go. So we're going to go for one of these today. It's a bit of a lunch or just a little thing to keep it going. I've had a couple of these lately and they're actually quite good. They do them in this pasta one and they do a spaghetti bolognese one. They're quite good for little meals to be fair. You just whack more on them and away you go. So in the old caravan, flick your old kettle on. Let's get that ready for that. And we can have that as a little break and then we can move on. Kettle's about to boil. That's what they look like. <laughs> Basically pasta and some bits and pieces. And obviously you put the boiling water in that just soaks. Lovely. You just leave that for four minutes or give it a stir. Now and again, leave it to sit, and away we go. Right, while well, we're waiting for bits of filler and stuff to go off on the sides, I'm going to pop a bonnet up and see what we need to do to take it off. Should be some squatty pipes and stuff somewhere. 
Little trick so you get the bonnet back on where you want it. What you do is uh, you get yourself a, a little screwdriver, come over to where the the bolts are that hold the bonnet on, and just scratch around the bolt. Back exactly the same spot as where you took them out. Do Let's have a look at So the nice thing now is I can use the old air ratchet. And she's off. She's now over here. Now we can sort of, what we'll have to do is obviously mask up this black border because we don't want that to be silver when we do the painting. You see we've got a few stone chips around it. Need to deal with them. Got a dent there to get rid of. Stone chips along the front. More stone chips. It's quite dusty from sand and dust at the moment so it's not really showing too much but I can see them and I'll be wiping it down anyway once I've sanded all this glue off. That's what I took it off for so I can get rid of this glue. I might have to just open up this stainless slightly more. I want it to be quite high so I don't get back eight doing it, but let's see what we can do. Right, so we're going to get the round sander again. Got a red disc, a bit of 240. Right, got on the sander, and let's see if we can remove this glue.
you be able to see exactly what we're trying to get rid of now. That's all the highlighting it, all the writing on the front. So let's go to a rougher grade, see if we can get rid of it. So I've actually had to step down again to 80 grit. That's the only thing I'll actually remove it. That's actually right in through the layers of the lacquer. That's been a right pain, so I'm going to hit it again with this 80 and hopefully it'll start to come off. So you can see that there, so let's see if we can remove that while on camera. Just a bit of a pain because we didn't really need to go down to the primer on most of the bonnet. See if we can get this bit off. See that's starting to get removed so what we're doing is blow it down wipe it down with some cleaners and see if we've actually got rid of the whole thing so hopefully that's gone I'm going to wipe it down with the old cleaner. Inside 
Let's go and have a look, shall we? So down the bottom here we had right and all the way across the bonnet here, didn't we? From what I can see, that's all gone. Further up, we've got a few lines left. A couple of very small bits, I think. But most of it is gone, so it's definitely working. You can see on this side we've still got the, the writing across here. And then the big emblem all the way up there. And off the side there, so we've still got this side to do. That's going to work, we're going to fill this. And in the long run, it's going to take a little bit of effort, but in the long run, we saved the bonnet and we didn't have to go and get another one. So that's good. Right, everyone, so I'm going to call this video here. And I'll start making part five. So all that's left to say is thanks very much for coming in. Thanks for watching. Please leave a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment under the video if you don't mind. Let me know what you think and anything else to change if you want me to change anything. And we'll move on from there. We hit the old 1K the other day, so that's pretty good. It's pretty cool. We've just got to get some watch hours up there now because I haven't been on for a while. So we've got to get the old watch hours going. So we'll do that. Um, and yeah, thanks very much. See you in the next one.